Sorry to interrupt, Dr. Westhoff, but Dr. Nicotola has mentioned your name before as, as a good part. Robert Sarkis, and you just met my procurement technician. We work with, yeah, BIMAS. We do fetal tissue collections and other human biospecimen collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Deborah's kind of been our contact on the national level for the, for the past eight months or so, because we're, we're a startup. We're very, very new. Um, we've just been Where are you based? We're based in Southern California. Okay. Yeah. And so I don't know if it's something you have experience with in the past or? Well, yes, we do, I mean, for research purposes at Columbia, we, we have a, a lot of people who get tissue from our group at Columbia for various oh, studies. So that's, a, that's kind of the hub in the Northeast. Oh, I don't know if it's a hub. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just have a lot of... But so what do you what do you do? So we we can provide a variety of human biospecimens, yeah. fetal, adults. We're doing actually we've done a lot of adipose tissue research in the past year. Um, are, you, are you functioning as sort of a library for investigators? Um, not a library. No, we we pr mainly fresh specimens oh, okay. for yeah for stem cell research, regenerative oh. medicine, cell based therapies primarily. Um, and uh, yeah, and we're basically just you know we're middlemen, we're connectors yeah. between yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, there were there, there was a tissue bank at Einstein. And they, yeah, the the, the, the fetal tissue repository. Yes, yeah. and I think they closed it. No, I have spoken with the with uh, Dr. Polos, who runs it actually, okay. and yeah, but it's a very very small one man operation, um, and he's I think moving. Maybe they're looking to close yeah, he's yeah, they're closing it there, and he's moving somewhere else where he says he can get better specimens. Yeah, I don't I know. Guess, yeah. Which is always the difficult thing, is because you're looking for providers who can kind of facilitate the the process and everything. So. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know anybody was doing this as a company. Oh no! But I mean, the people from Einstein came to visit with us to see if we would take over their repository. Oh, interesting. And it just seemed like a lot of effort. <laughs> but you only do fresh tissue. You don't do frozen. Everything we've done is is fresh so far. Because yeah. because um, well, because well, the thing is, when you you know, when it comes to stem cells. Yeah. Every time you freeze and then and uh -huh. then rethought, you're losing cell viability every time you do yeah. that. And some people will say, oh, well, if you do it carefully, but, but, no, but you, you ask any experienced researcher and they'll tell yeah, you I don't that they would We haven't prefer. been working with anybody who wants stem cells. We've just been working with people who want particular tissues. Oh, particular, interesting. Like, a, you know, cardi they want cardiac or they want eyes or they want neural. I mean, Bill Rashbaum, back in the day at Einstein, was working with people doing Parkinson's disease research. Right. People with spinal cords. So, uh, I mean, that sort of thing. I, I, certainly everything we put, oh, gonads, oh my god, gonads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything we provide is fresh, mm -hmm. but I have the feeling that actually they had a, a repository of frozen stuff at Einstein. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong about that. Yeah. Oh, probably. I mean, most most of. I mean, we're you know we're pretty small and we operate dropship and we're at start. We've only been doing so. Yeah, we don't. It's easier to do you know for yeah. us as well. But, but yeah, some of the larger, more established banks definitely provide frozen okay. specimens. But it's. I mean, it's really. Yeah, I don't know it's anything not, about the industry. It's not. I mean, it's really. It's not ideal for for re at least for the for for the regenerative medicine sector. Yeah. It's yeah. not ideal to do frozen thawed because okay. you lose too much cell viability when you do that. But yeah, we've spoken before. It would be <laughs> so we've spoken with Deborah before. I don't know what kind of kind of where PPFA is nationally with all this right now, but it would be you know because there's one of the you know most difficult things is just finding affiliates and finding collection sites that are you know that have the volume and then have the gestational age and all that. And it's there's just a lot of person-to-person -person networking that is very time-consuming and it's if somebody could facilitate that it would be a lot easier um, we we have a department that is focused on our abortion providers uh -huh. and the head of that department is here and i'm sure they have you know in essence at their fingertips information about volume and yeah. second try versus yeah, first yeah. try and so on and I think they would be the right people to explore whether affiliates are different. Obviously, we would have the potential for a huge H uh, PR issue on doing this. 
that. It's, it's something you keep, uh, <laughs> we're very discreet about it. Everybody else yeah. is very discreet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will make sure you're you're here for the. Whole yeah, week. we'll be here all weekend, as they say. Yeah, we've got to. So I'll make, but it's Deb Nugatola you've spoken with so far. I'll I'll make sure you talk to a couple of our national office abortion people. Is that and people at PP Caps? Is that? Yeah. Okay. Have you talked to Caps? About? Um, uh, Kristen Flood, I think, is someone we yeah. met at NAF okay. last year. Okay. Um, and she actually connected us to Deborah. So I don't okay. know if maybe that was that. I kind of assumed that sector was uh, exhausted, but. Maybe Maybe, well, actually, maybe it's more because stuff. they they um, they did not have a chief for, oh. for like oh. nine months. Okay. <laughs> so there there was nobody who was head of that department uh, at that time. Is it Kristen now or no? no it's not Kristen. Okay. But so I'll go. I'll find the person who is yeah. and get you guys to have a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're here today. Oh, excellent. That would be that would be very helpful. Yeah, that's good. You Thank are. you so much. Um, do you, yeah, actually, we've got to. How could I have popped? I know. I mean, Do you want to wait until tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. oh it's really handy. Handy. There we go. Yes, we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No, it's the worst thing about it. I mean, I like clothes. 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 Oh, that's good. Look at that. It's all for people who have uh, low vision, too. Oh. I like that. What you need is some stem cells. <laughs> Actually, I have bionic eyes now. They're absolutely fabulous, but I still can't see close up. I'm 20 20. What was it? You got LASIK or what is it? No. So I'm still like looking around and seeing what's there for me. Yeah. No, I got lens in my eyes. Because I really am bionic. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are they digital? Can they do the digital zoom? <laughs> They, they have something like that, but I, I went for the old, old, well, the old. <laughs> I was afraid I would get headaches. And this is not the kind of thing you want to do twice. Right? So I, I figured, I, I got the basic model. <laughs> but it's very cold. <laughs> Astigmatism and everything. It's just like, wow. I see all the time. It's really astonishing. Wow. So, She's So much. I'm gonna be mad at the best. All this is. And at least okay. they can just come visit me. Where is that? Where? Where is all the meeting stuff happening over here? Well, all the exhibitors are gonna be in um, Ballroom B, Lotus B. Okay. Okay. And I just found out I'm not allowed to go to the so I'll be there. Okay. Okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll go find the new caps director and let her know who you guys are, and she can start thinking about what to do with that. We literally live in the same building in New York. Oh, nice. That's so really apart, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hi, by the way. Good to meet you. Hi, sorry. is my go-to doctor when I need Robert Sarkis. Hi, nice to meet you. Benita Kumar. And I'm going to go. Oh, oh my God. I can't catch up with your... Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unless you gotta be there. Yeah, no, I think. Is she trying to? I'm not let sure me let me just tell her. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> it's okay. I can follow. Free. I'll go. I'll do. It was very good to meet you. I think we yeah. actually have to head out. Were you trying oh. to find someone to introduce? Yeah, but that's right. Oh. But I don't see her anymore. So. Yeah, no, we'll just we'll handle <laughs> it tomorrow or the next day. Really okay, good to meet good. you. Yeah, we'll talk that's more. Good. Have a good night.